Hello, and of course, welcome back to 16 Years and Now Kid Free. Right, you find me here in the field of dreams. <laughs> then it is a beautiful, beautiful place, this. You know, I've been so lucky. Oh, look, you can even see, uh, oh, just over, yeah, just over there, you can see Panavan. Uh, what was the same? Oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah, and I must admit, it is a beautiful, beautiful place here, and I've been so lucky to spend, well, pretty much since May here, apart from going up to Scotland on a quick, on a week-long trip, it was a bit more than a week, you know, going down home to see my gals, going to a meet with, um, I'm not going to say the name because I'm most sure to get it wrong, leave him alone, and I've been able to, bow him, leave him alone, and is, you can just see down there, you can see sheep. We don't know where the sheep have come from, but they're here. Rogue sheep. And it's been, you know, brilliant to teach Berwin, you know, to be around sheep and not to go chasing them, even when they run away. So, I can't, you know, how much more can you want from my gracious host, Alan, that's allowed me to stay in his garden? Yeah, I, I know the rest of us call this a field, but to him, it's a garden. But yeah, I cannot say thank you enough to Alan for letting me stay here. I mean, he's never asked for anything. Never, ever asked for anything. And he's allowed me to stay here with his just magnificent views. But, on the other side of that, the adventure must go on. And I did say to a lot of you, to everyone, summertime, crack on, get out there. I'm not a summertime person. You know, it's not for me. You know, I don't like the heat. That's why a lot of people say, oh, you should go to Egypt or Australia or somewhere like that. You know, it's too hot. And I don't like hot. But yeah, the adventure, I keep just looking. It doesn't matter how many pictures I take of that. I can never, ever, ever, ever do it justice. But yeah, the adventure must continue. Because that's who I am. I'm an adventurer. And I'm lucky enough to be able to go on these adventures. Don't ever, ever think I get that wrong for two seconds. Bowen! Bowen! Come on, bud! Look at that! Oh, where, where is he? Here comes the fluffy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and don't ever for one second think I am, you know, don't realise how lucky I am to be able to do these adventures. You know, I am one of the real, real lucky ones that can do these adventures and keep doing what I'm doing and I'm appreciative the same as I'm appreciative to everybody who um, views my videos comments you know and you know back uh, you know enjoys watching my videos and they comment and give me positive vibes and you know everything like that so I'm trying to keep an eye on the sheep and bowing at the same time although I've started teaching him about it it doesn't mean <laughs> you know he's a hundred percent you know there you know, he is a dog after all, and dogs do have their own brains, and they tend to do their own thing when they want to, because instinct takes over. Don't believe me? Next time you're checking out somebody fine, see, you know, somebody that looks great and is a T to what you uh, look for, see how you act yourself. We all have them uh, reactions that we can't control. But yeah, back to the new adventure, like I keep saying. I was uh, going to head off uh, last month, but... Things came up. Oh, well, I'm trying to get the grass out of my shoes, uh, out of my walking boots. Um, yeah, things come up, you know, things change and everything like that. But from Tuesday the 8th, I am setting out again. So, I'm not too sure on the moment. I might go up to Shropshire on the Tuesday and then go through to Castleton in the Peak District on the Wednesday. And then I'm meeting up with my friends to get the haircut that everybody keeps telling me I need <laughs> and it's completely up to her for what she's doing to me so if it doesn't look right you can't blame me no I'm just appreciative that something's going to cut my hair you can't really argue with that and then uh, after that I'm heading up into the Yorkshire Dales uh, I'm going to go and see something that me my oldest daughter were, was meant to go and see but then she changed her mind about coming out um, which is whole pot which is all up by the uh, Free Peats in the Yorkshire, that Free Peats. And then after that, it allows me to crack on uh, going up, and I'm going to try and stay away from the towns, 
Bowman. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Good boy. Bowman. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Look at that. And the sheep are oh, literally. If I come around here a little bit, you can just about see him. <laughs> Bowman, come on. I shouldn't have pointed that much. That was my fault. Sorry, Bowman. Good boy. Uh, yeah, and then keep up going up into the Pennines, then over the border into Scotland, uh, and then uh, to my secret little hiding place that I absolutely love going every time I go to Scotland or come out of Scotland. Above when I went up there with me mate, but I wasn't that far and I was only just over the border. And then, yeah, just keep going up and up and up while the uh, old winter encircles around us. And then hopefully people can learn a few bits on what it's like to car camp in the winter. And that is the plan. This video wasn't meant to be that long. Sorry about that. But as I always say, take it easy. Keep adventuring. And love you, bye.